Hello, hello everyone, I'm back, and this is the promised video of the um, Teton Sports tarp poncho. Now, this particular poncho comes with the <clears throat> Teton Sports Blackout Series bags. Uh, I just did a review, like, just now on the, um, the actual Teton Sports Mountain Adventure 4000 backpack, which is where this came from. So, if you haven't seen that, at the end of the video, hit the little button down at the bottom left hand corner of your screen and go ahead and take a look at that review. Now, this particular poncho, that, like I said, this does come with their Blackout Series packs, but you can also buy it separately for $27 if you so desire. This is a tarp poncho, so it does not have dedicated sleeves. Um, I'm just gonna go out here and say it right off the bat, I'm not a fan of tarp ponchos um, because I find that the wind and stuff just blows them all over the place and you don't really stay dry. But they are of course always a good emergency item if you know it does start raining. You can put this on and it will offer you some level of protection. I personally just prefer carrying an actual dedicated sleeve poncho that fits over my pack. So, but let me go ahead and do a review on this because it does come with the pack and um, I want to let you guys know what I think of it. Now. Let me go ahead and open it up here for you. It is a fairly large poncho, but it, you know, tarp poncho, but it is of course only good for one person as all tarp ponchos are. Um, it is made out of 66D ripstop nylon. So let me see if I can show you the check ring on it here. There you go. It is a ripstop nylon. Now they say that all the seams have been taped. So let me go ahead and show you that. The only seams that have actually been taped, or heat welded, heat taped, whatever you want to call it, are the ones around the hood. So let me go ahead and show you that. You can see those have been taped. The seams around the edge of the tarp have not. However, those seams don't really mean much because, you know, that's not where the water is going to bother you. It's the seams around the hood that are going to be the problem there. So. <clears throat> those are taped the ones that are important are in fact taped it does have anchor points located all around the poncho um, at all the corners all the centers of the poncho so you can literally put this thing pretty much anywhere you want in any configuration you want which I think is really cool for a tarp poncho because most of the time they don't come with all this stuff on it now and there's the uh, Teton sports logo there all right, so let me go ahead and put this on and I'm gonna actually put it on with the pack as well because this is designed to fit over a backpack while you're wearing it. Now this is a fairly windy day, so it may actually demonstrate kind of what I mean by the poncho blowing around. So let me be right back. I'll get the camera repositioned for you guys and we will continue from there. All right, there you go. Um, this is what the poncho looks like when it's actually put on. So there you have it. Let me go ahead and spin. Now this particular poncho, I am 5'9". Let's see if I can get down there. Comes down to about the center of my shins. The back of the poncho comes down to my ankles. I hope you guys can hear me because I'm so far away. Let me move up a little bit. Um, the hood here, it fits pretty well. Uh, it has a little rain drip right there, which is always cool. Fits pretty well around your face. You do have a drawstring right here so you can pull it in if you need to. Overall, it is a great poncho tarp, or tarp poncho, or whatever you want to call it. Quality wise, it's there. It is certainly not cheap. And um, I really, really like this particular tarp poncho. Now, with that, is, with that said, I actually own the Snug Pack tarp, or not tarp, the Snug Pack poncho, which I'll be doing a review on for you guys here in just a minute. But I'm just not a fan of tarp ponchos because it leaves the entire side of the, uh, see? It just, it, in my opinion, it's not as good as a dedicated sleeves poncho. But let me go ahead and put the pack on for you guys and I'll put this back on over the pack and show you guys how well it works that way. So I'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, I have the pack on. Um, so let me go ahead and grab the tarp here, the poncho. Now I'm going to put it on. 
<laughs> knock it off there, run the back of the pack. It's always the hardest part of a poncho that fits over the pack, getting it over the pack itself. All right, come on. There we go. I think I about got it. And there's another example of why I don't like tarp ponchos. Let's see if I can knock it back up off the back. I think I did it there. Yay! All right, so there you go. Get this a little tighter. As you can see, it does fit over the top of the pack. But that just gave you another example of why I don't particularly like tarp ponchos. So I keep I keep saying that, but I'm just not a fan of them. Now, if you are a fan and you do enjoy them and you do like them, this is certainly a really good quality one. Um, I believe the price is $27 for this particular item if you buy it separately, but it does come with the Teton Sports Blackout Series packs. So if that is something you want to do, um, you want to buy one of those packs in the first place, this is something you're going to get with it. Um, so if that's something you want to take into consideration, go ahead and do that. I personally really like the quality of this tarp poncho. Um, it is definitely one of the best quality ones that I personally found. Um, and I'll certainly be carrying it with me in the pack as a spare poncho or a, sm a spare poncho slash spare tarp if I need it. Um, but I hope I won't. But there you have it. There's the review of the Snug Pack tarp poncho. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, thank you guys for watching. As always, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And do not forget, let's take this thing off. Don't forget to watch the video of the Teton Sports Mountain Adventure 4000 backpack, which is where I got this particular tarp. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, if you like, the, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Please have a great night. Bye-bye.